Hello everybody. Just uh, wanted to give you guys a quick update on what's going on. I finished up my two weeks at Daytona Beach and I'm currently heading out to uh, back to Orlando. Heading over to Apopka to uh, the Sam's Club there to uh, pimp knives. <laughs> Daytona was certainly interesting. Um, I think my numbers are starting to go back up. They're not, you know, like really, really high, but uh, decent. I did get a printout on how many knives went through, but they didn't give me like a breakdown day by day. I should have asked for a day by day instead of a week by week breakdown. Because there was more than two of us. Um, I mean, there was more than me at the knife. There was actually three different people working for the, uh, the two weeks. So the breakdown, that I got from Sam's Club may not be that useful. But, um, for the two weeks that we were there, the base set, the ones that sell for $49.98, um, we sold like 158 of those. And um, for the big set, the one that sells for $119.88, we sold, what was it, um, 29 of those. So, I think those numbers are okay. Um, I wish they were all mine. <laughs> I, I again need to look at the, the daily breakdown to see how many actually went through for each person, but uh, they were fairly respectable numbers, I think. Um, I, I think, you know, the base sets could have been a little bit more. Uh, roughly, we averaged about 75 a week. So, not as good as it could be, but I think 75 is okay a week. The problem is it was more than one person, you know, it was um, three different people working. So I think the majority of the numbers were mine, obviously, because I was there the longest. But we'll see when the, um, the paycheck comes out, what's going on with it. But it's nice to get that print out. Next time I get a print out, I think I'm gonna ask for a breakdown day by day week by week because it turns out that week by week wasn't that useful because there were some you know different people there so we don't know who sold what still um, on what day I mean we know like we can't really tell who sold what but we can tell how much went through each given day if we get a daily breakdown I am heading out to uh, Apopka and planning on chilling out there till tomorrow then I start the uh, Apopka store so that should be interesting. The Apopka store was actually the store that I first sold at. You know, it was my training store when I was there with Larry uh, about a year ago. And um, it was a fairly good store. I think I sold like 10 of them, 10 of the base sets, to one, to one couple, an older couple who bought them as gifts, Christmas gifts. So, you know, it may be good over there, I'm not sure. But from what I understand, they had another guy there already. So he might have been there for a week or more. If he's been there for more than a week, it's going to be hard. Because it means I'm coming in and they've already seen the show and bought the knives. So me coming in like the second week is not good. You know, so I'm hoping that the guy hasn't been there all week or two weeks. But I have the feeling that he's been there one week already. Which, to me, is kind of messed up. You're putting, you know, the you have a limited number of people, but you're putting them all at the same place instead of spreading them out and putting them all over the state. Or, uh, you know, it could be just that they're trying to fix the situation right now because the guy may be wanting to go sell somewhere else um, in the Jacksonville area where he'll make more money. Because he was doing really good up in Jacksonville. So they might be moving him there um, and putting me to take over the rest of this week, which to me is so-so. I mean, it's like I would have preferred to be there at the very beginning versus being there halfway through the show. And I don't know if they're going to keep me there one week or two weeks. But regardless, I'm flexible, you know, as long as um, they continue to abide by their agreement. So I will work through and then this weekend I'll actually finally get some days off. It's been a while since I've had a day off. That was last weekend. <laughs> so I haven't been that long. But 
I don't plan on working more than, you know, five days straight. So, five days, I'd like to get my two days off. Otherwise, I could end up working 10 or 12 days before I get some days off. And then, and then the schedule gets all messed up. So, I'll take my weekend off. And the big reason for the weekends off for me is um, the company typically likes to stick two or three people at a booth on the weekend. And that hurts me, you know. Um, I don't want to be there on those days with other people where I don't get to sell as much. There's, you know, I only get to go up like eight times instead of 12. And, you know, there's potential for their knives coming back and being credited to me. So... For me, it's just better to go on the days where I'm there kind of by myself. Now, I can't just, you know, sometimes they will stick someone with me whether or not I want the person with me. But at least by not working that weekend, especially, you know, unless they have it just for me alone, I avoid that whole issue, that whole mess. Um, it got really cold, you know, the last two, the last couple days. Like, last night dropped down to the low 40s. I couldn't believe it. It was, like, cold inside the van. And um, I only wore, like, this little light jacket and a, another light jacket and had a tiny little blanket. So tonight I've got my big one out, even though I think it's warmer today than it was this yesterday and the last couple days over the weekend. So I don't know if I'm actually going to need the extra sleeping bag, but it'll be nice to have it. But um, kind of looking forward to seeing what it's like in Apopka. Hopefully um, business will be better. And hopefully I'll get a little bit of time to kind of tour the area. And, you know, show you guys some more scenic stuff from um, the Apopka area. Well, thank you all for tuning in. This video is going on and I don't want the mouth sinking issue to develop. So I'm going to go ahead and end it now. And um, update you guys when I get to Apopka. Until next time, everybody. I hope your day is going well and you're staying safe. Take care now.